In this Golf Smart Insight, we're going to look at how your signature can help you have a little bit more patience with yourself with your golf game. So what I want you to do is grab a sheet of paper and a bunch of different writing utensils and meet me back here in a second. Okay, so what I want you to do is you're going to write your name down with all these different objects. Let me just finish my last one here. Perfect. Okay, so I got different pens and voila. Let me bring this in close. You can do this little experiment in two. Writing with different, different markers, different style pens. You can write them, trying to write as fast as you can, trying to write it as perfect as you can. One of my fun things that I'll do is I'll give students one pen, piece of paper, and say, okay, sign your name five times and I want it to be identical every single time. And what you'll frequently find is that is virtually impossible. It is virtually impossible to do something that you've done thousands and thousands of times exactly the same every single time. I don't think the brain is set up to actually do that. So what's better to do is to build a movement that has a pattern to it. So all of these signatures, even though this one, this F looks terrible because I was trying to rush it while I was talking to you, um, these, these signatures all look similar enough that they are my signature. And that's what you're trying to build with your golf swing. You're trying to build your signature or your pattern for your golf swing. These different pens basically uh, are the same as you're going to have different lies, you're going to have slightly different clubs, different grasses, different conditions, and you're going to try to hit different shots. But within all those differences, you want to have this clear pattern of movement that helps you do something that's somewhat predictable. And what you can do is if you use the golf swing decoder, you can start to pay attention to your pattern and you can start to see Okay, with a 7 iron, I'm going to hit it roughly 150 to 160 yards, and it's going to have anywhere from 0 to 10 yards of draw. That gives me kind of a bubble of probability, and if I aim that bubble in a place that is no trouble, I'm typically going to have pretty good shots. So I find that doing some of these experiments with your signature help put your golf swing in a little bit more realistic perspective so that you don't get frustrated at the first bad shot because that bad shot may just be part of your pattern and you just want to continue refining it. And, and one of the takeaway challenges that I can give you, anytime you think that you're not going to be happy playing golf unless you hit absolutely every shot perfect, here's my challenge. Pay attention to your signature for the next week or two. And all I want you to try to do is make exactly the same signature every single time you do it. And what you'll start to see is that it is incredibly hard to do something as simple as sign your name identically 20 times. You're never going to be able to do it with a golf club. You're never going to make the identical swing 20 times. But your pattern is going to have the possibility of all of your misses and all of your good shots. And the better we can work on the pattern, the more successful you're going to be at playing golf.